Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Cassie here. Today I'll be doing a review on the Naked Company Beauty Sponge and comparing it to the Beauty Blender. So this is the size comparison between um, your typical beauty blender, which is the one on the right that's really dirty right now, and then this is the naked one, which is brand new. It's just slightly smaller. So this is without adding water yet. Once you add water, they will increase in size, like how the typical beauty blender usually does. You can tell right off the bat that this one feels so much softer. Like, it feels like refined compared to this one like this one just feels like super spongy but this one feels more like memory foam like that's kind of what it feels like it's just really soft and it's just oh my god like i i'm excited all right so my face is completely naked right now aside from some moisturizer and the foundation i'm using is the clinique beyond perfecting with a little dosage of fenty beauty foundation so I'm just going to apply half my face with the beauty blender and then the other half with the naked sponge. So I'm just going to dab it all over my face. I hope this is really clear for you guys. So I'm going to start with my beauty blender. So that's no foundation, and this is with foundation and the beauty blender. Okay, now I'm gonna take my naked sponge, which is so squishy, and I'm gonna go ahead and do it on this side of my face. feels really nice on your skin. It feels a little bit denser. Really good quality. And it feels like it's really just like lightly moving the foundation around your face so that it doesn't absorb too much of it. It's kind of just taking it and like stamping it across your whole face. All right, and that's the side with foundation. Let's put it on my nose. So now that I'm looking at my skin really carefully, I feel like that the beauty blender that I used on my left hand side, uh, the beauty blender that I used on my left hand side on this side, the pores feel like they look bigger and it, it doesn't really look like the foundation got pushed into those pores to make it look seamless. And then when I compare it to this side, it just feels smoother to me. Like, I don't know, what do you guys think? Maybe I'm tripping out, maybe this side of my skin is better than, than this side, but I think I blended nicer on this side. Now that I've gotten some foundation on them, you can clearly see that the pores on the Beauty Blender are much larger than the one on this Naked Blender, which is a lot smaller and softer as well. So you can see how big of a difference that looks. Okay, so now that I've finished my makeup, I'm gonna do a little review over cap, um, I mean overview of where did it go, right? There it is. The Naked Blender versus the Beauty Blender. So in my honest opinion, I do feel like the Beauty Blender is much bigger, which I do like the size of because I feel like I can get through all of my foundation across my face a lot faster. I'm not really a big fan of using the bottom. I like using like the whole flat side like that and going through it. This one is just a tiny bit smaller than this one. It's not really a huge deal, so I don't really mind that. 
And the second thing is I love the quality of this one so much more than the Beauty Blender. They're pretty much almost identical, but this one is made of a much finer material, better quality, smaller pores, and it's so, so freaking soft. And you can just like, I, I can't really explain this to you other than you have to hold it and wet it because once you do, you're gonna feel the difference in quality. Um, another great thing is the price of the Beauty Blender originally for this guy over here, just one of these, is 26 Canadian dollars. But for the Naked Company one, I just checked on their website and the cost of it is actually 27 dollars for two of them. So you don't just get one, but you get two. So I think that's an amazing deal. Plus right now, since they just launched and they just opened, they are offering um, a VIP launch, 25% off, plus free shipping to the US and Canada, which is just absolutely ridiculous. Like, that is such a good deal. You get two, plus 25% off, plus free shipping. Like, this is a steal compared to getting one beauty blender for $26. Like, that is just ridiculous. Yeah, so overall, um, I love this Naked sponge. I'm so happy I have two of them and I'm so lucky that they sent these to me to try out. So thank you, Naked Company. Thank you so much. So that pretty much concludes my review on Naked Company. So if you guys have any questions for me, just leave it in the comments below. If you liked this video and this review, then give me a thumbs up and also click the subscribe button over here. All right, thank you guys for watching. Bye.